Developing story time, TD Markets correspondent for the Schwab Network, Kevin Green is here with the latest on another downgrade uh, for Apple. Stock down a little bit here today, four tenths of 1%. Uh, Kev, uh, what's the commentary on this one? Alex, you shouldn't kick a man while they're down. And that's really what we are seeing when it comes to analysts right now. We are seeing Redburn Atlantic downgrading Apple to neutral from a buy. Now, they do have a $200 price target, which is above the current price level at this point in time. But they are a little bit concerned when it comes to the growth prospects for Apple here moving forward, especially when it comes to this quarter that they are going to be reporting here. They do believe that it's going to be underwhelming for the March quarter and that the increasing regulatory risk can be a headwind for the stock moving forward here. They also say the valuation is seen as full, especially as its price to earnings multiples surpassed Nike's for an extended period. I'm not sure about that Nike comparison because Nike did see some uh, headwinds over the past couple of uh, months as well. But overall, we are starting to uh, see these analysts really trying to re-rate Apple stock at this point in time now. But but from a technical standpoint, we actually did see a bounce off the 100-day moving average, which is a good technical sign for some bulls that are in the marketplace. Hopefully, it can catch a bid here in the next couple of sessions. Yeah, and the uh, market would like to see that, but so far the market's been okay with a little bit of Apple weakness. Uh, it did hold that 180 level. We'll see if it tests it again. Uh, some positive news, though. You got some uh, uh, updates on Salesforce as well with an analyst move. Yeah, definitely. We are seeing Salesforce catching a little bit of a bid here today. We have Oppenheimer actually maintaining their outperform rating on the shares and also setting their price target at $300, which would be around a 13.2% increase from the current levels here. They are very optimistic when it comes to the IT spend, especially if the macroeconomic factors or the slowdown that everybody has been anticipating does not come to fruition. They do believe that that will also cause a refresh cycle for IT budget spend. They also believe that it's a good EPS compounder and they are are confident that the company could actually achieve 20% earnings growth in fiscal year 2025, which would actually be pretty decent for a company this size. We have seen Salesforce actually minimize or reduce some of their expenses over the last year. Now that is also being reflected in some of the earnings power over the last couple of quarters, and the market has rewarded the stock by having it push up to the upside and nearing almost 52-week highs here. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes. Uh, two names going different directions and different commentary surrounding them. Kevin Green, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Schwab Network.